Mr. President, I rise to thank a good friend for his service to our nation, America's soldiers, and their families. Tom Lamont of Springfield, Illinois, is retiring this week as Assistant Secretary of the Army for Manpower and Reserve Affairs, the Army's top personnel officer. It's a post that Tom has held for more than four years. These were not four ordinary years. They were four of the most challenging years in the Army's modern history. The list of challenges that Tom Lamont faced from day one was daunting. At the top of his list, he had to help coordinate the drawdown of U.S. troops from Iraq. At the same time, he had to support a surge of troops in Afghanistan and then help the return home of those same troops. He also had to address many of the most important issues facing the military and our Army today, including post-traumatic stress, traumatic brain injuries, sexual assault in the military, and the disturbingly high incidence of suicide among active duty soldiers and veterans. I was proud to introduce Tom Lamont at his confirmation hearing before the Senate Armed Services Committee four years ago. I said then that with the tremendous strain that the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq had created for soldiers and their families, the Army needed a leader like Tom Lamont. As he prepares to complete his mission in the Pentagon, I'm proud, but not at all surprised, that Tom was every bit the leader that our Army needed. In the time of historic challenge for the United States Army, Assistant Secretary Thomas Lamont has consistently risen to the challenge. He made clear from the start that his number one priority was the well-being of America's soldiers and their families, especially those coping with multiple deployments. A while back, General Martin Dempsey, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, gave a speech in which he described the historic challenges facing the U.S. Armed Forces. He said in those remarks that, quote, if we don't get the people right, the rest of it won't matter. He went on to say, we might get the equipment right, the organization design right, modernization right, but if we don't get the people right, we're going to put the country at risk. When President Obama nominated Tom Lamont to be Assistant Secretary of the Army, he got the people right. His service these last four years leaves our Army stronger and better prepared for what lies ahead. In closing, I want to thank Tom for his extraordinary record of public service. Tom and his wife Bridget are good friends of Loretta's and mine. I know better than most the personal sacrifice they both have made so that Tom could serve this president, the United States Army, and the nation that he loves. I wish Tom and Bridget the best in life's next challenge.